Wet hair? Don't care. I just got to shoot this video for you while I have the chance today. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stacey Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneur moms with a digital presence. Now, if you've been wondering if you can use TikTok effectively to market your business as an artist or a creative of any kind, well, you're in the right place because I'm breaking it down for you in this video. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get real world help that entrepreneur moms like you need to succeed when you're doing business online today. Now, since the vast majority of my students and YouTube subscribers do tend to be entrepreneur moms, it shouldn't surprise you that I recently got a lot of requests to make a video about how to keep kids safe on TikTok, which I did end up making, so make sure that you check that video out. And if you know of any other parent who's stressing about TikTok, you might want to share this video out to them as a resource too. But here in this video, I'm going to cover how to grow on TikTok as an artist. Should you even be on TikTok? You can pretty much guess that I'm going to say yes, but I really break down in another one of my videos why you do want to be there, especially as an adult entrepreneur of any kind in my video, TikTok for Adults Q&A. So if you want to really get the lowdown on why now is a golden window of opportunity for you to either get on TikTok or double down on your TikTok video upload efforts, even though you're worried it could all be a waste of time, I'll refer you to that video where I cover those bases pretty thoroughly. How to market on TikTok at all? Before we get into the nitty gritty of how artists and creative types in general can really take advantage of the opportunity that TikTok presents to them, let me tell you this. If you're wondering about the basics of marketing on TikTok, like the basic framework that I suggest for busy entrepreneur moms in terms of folding what could be yet another social media app into their busy marketing mix and into their busy lives. Well, it just so happens that I've done another video that covers the framework and some ideas about how to prep for a launch given your crazy busy schedule. So you want to make sure that you check out my video entitled Entrepreneur Mom TikTok Marketing Strategy. So this way you've got a nice foundation to work off of. Okay, on to the more specific advice, which is be creatively, imperfectly perfect you. Perfect is the enemy of dumb, but you don't want to be all bless this mess either, mama. That said, TikTok isn't just for kids. It's for kids of all ages, and the corporate culture of the app is nearly the exact opposite of Facebook or old book. So if you're young at heart, you're creative and counterculture, then you're going to find your tribe a lot harder and faster for having gotten on TikTok and uploading videos that sure showcase your art, but also you as a human being. So that does mean that you shouldn't always make your content about your art, your music, your creations, but about you showing the real raw, unedited, imperfect you. Maybe you're wearing makeup, maybe you're not. Maybe your hair is all done and maybe it's a mess and in a bun. Do not sweat this sort of stuff because just don't because not only is TikTok not Facebook, it's not Instagram either. People are fatiguing on the perfectly laid out and curated feeds on Instagram anyway. Just show them who the artist is who creates all of the awesome one of a kind creations. The handmade goodness, the crafts, the multimedia marvelous treats, the music that makes them smile. But your audience needs to see your smile too. Make sure you're on camera at least for a little bit during your 15 to 60 second video uploads. If it's just about your media all the time, the ghost is kind of out of the machine, the soul just isn't there, and people want to connect with you and all of your creative, imperfect, possibly goofy, maybe even downright weird self. In other words, mama, let your freak flag fly. As long as you don't violate TikTok's terms of service or use, you're good to go. Let people get to know you and not just your craft. Use TikTok's media to showcase your media. Video is a great way to capture visual things, of course, and audio too, if it's your original music or sounds. But make sure that you use TikTok's musics and sounds, if not your own, because that can often give your account and content an algorithmic boost too, as discussed in my video, how to grow your TikTok this week. 
But as a creative, you should try to be as creative as you can with TikTok. Try to use time-lapse videos showing how you work your craft, how you mess with your media. If you need different content ideas or themes to help you get started, my video TikTok for Handmade Business should fit the bill. Just really let your hair down and give people peeks behind the scenes at both the artist and the art they're creating. The recent word out on the street is if you know how to optimize your content properly, over time the TikToks app's algorithm gets smarter about what you like, what you create, and what people you optimize the content for likes and creates themselves. So you will very quickly curate a very sincere and appreciative audience who will love you and what you do. Grow your artsy audience. Yes, optimize your content with hashtags using ones that your ideal audience or customer would use to search up content on the app because they do that all the time. And you'll fetch more eyes and ears to check your creative craft work out. That's step one. Step two is leverage the TikTok algorithm by yes, pairing your work with trending sounds or trending songs. Or yes, duet your video with another video that's already doing well on TikTok that's inspired your song, poem, mixed media creation, painting, and so on. Yes, you can do that, and yes, it works. Can you work a trend and somehow make it related to your slice of creative life or the media or the song or the inspiration for your most recent creation? Then do that for sure. And over time, you'll grow a properly curated audience who are more likely to support your work both on the TikTok app and off of it. More of my students over time are getting messages on TikTok asking for pricing on pieces that they show off or creations that their human models, and in one case, doggy model, wore in a particular TikTok video they put up where they're not directly pushing sales. They're just creating fun content that inspires sales indirectly nonetheless. Sound good to you? I bet it does, mama. So make sure you hit that notification bell because in the next part of this TikTok series, I'll cover how to get 100,000 followers on TikTok. For Joe's Dairy Bar and Grill, my family's business, we've done it without pouring any money into the app whatsoever, without follow pods or software, all organically and having fun while doing it. I'll, I'm going to share with you some of the insights we have about getting to not just over 120,000 followers and millions upon millions of views, but how TikTok with a global audience nonetheless helps us to score sales with our single location brick and mortar business and otherwise grow our overall platform in a useful way. All before a live clickable link even became a thing for us on our account, no less. So don't miss that video. Again, make sure you hit that notification bell and select all so that you can follow along with this entire TikTok series that I've got to offer you. In the meantime, while you're waiting for that video, be sure to check out these two awesome videos as well. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot when you do that. And of course, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.